We're going to start this half hour with the latest on the war in Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin making a rare admission yesterday, admitting his military is suffering losses. Right now, fierce battles are raging in the eastern Ukrainian city of Bakhmut. Uh, Moscow claims the city will soon be in their hands, but Ukraine announced it's sending additional troops there very soon. And this morning, we are hearing from two Ukrainian women who are watching what happens there very closely. They live in Tampa now, but they still have family there. One of those women actually moved to Tampa during the war. We want to get right out to ABC Action News reporter Keely McCormick now live in Tampa this morning. And Keely, this was a really emotional conversation for these women. Dia, it was really hard for them to talk about. You know, we hear the phrase time heals all wounds, but the war in Ukraine's been going on for a year now. And the two women I spoke with tell me it's not getting any easier. Uh, this is Helena Avramenka. She came to Tampa 10 months ago to escape the war in Ukraine. She's still working to learn English. Every day I call my family and I cry. I remember my country. I remember my family. Helena was emotional talking about her love for Crimea and her family that still lives in the war-torn country. I have uh, not safe. I have terrible. She says she wants to go back home and see her family, but knows that's just not an option right now. I'm sorry, just a moment. A tough topic to talk about, especially for Ilana Kristeva, who grew up in Kyiv. She has family who stayed in Ukraine to help fight the war. Her husband was in the territory, uh, territory uh, guard. Uh, he was actually serving uh, the military. She says that was the hardest part, seeing these horrific videos of missiles hitting her country, knowing her family was still there. It's absolutely mad in the 21st century to come uh, to the territory of the independent state and try to invade it, try to uh, ruin the life of people and kill so many people. It's, it's impossible. She says she is still in shock to this day, but says one thing stays true, and that's the strength of the Ukrainian people. They are absolutely brave people, and uh, I think they set up an example uh, to the whole world how to, how to fight for freedom. They both tell me they are so appreciative of the people in the Tampa Bay region. After a year full of fundraisers, donations and rallies, they say that means so much to the people in Ukraine. Reporting live in Tampa, Keely McCormick, ABC Action News.